A statue did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Tchah. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now, don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. Scratches on the stone. Traces of metal on stone. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. Traces of metal on stone. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. A piece of the statue's mounting rod. Pieces from the pedestal. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. Money was left inside the wallet. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Zach, these drawings represent the Mayan symbols. All valuables were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. If I believe Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... I found the body of Zacharias, and I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away.
You saw the statue running? It... it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... was a club member, and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Sir Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Oh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. And what about the statue? I've no idea yet. I imagine the thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So they were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. But then there's also Sir Charles's version, but... Uh... Please, go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. No, it wasn't like that. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Takun Uman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. What did the police say? Do you know anything? Thank you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. An ordinary pencil. 
Money was left inside the wallet. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. Looks like a serious infection. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently Zacharias had been drinking before his death. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. These scars are old.
Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. So, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spear. Why won't the police say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Charles Yellingham has a large family. A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Zacharias Greystoke. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. I wonder who this man is. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. 
photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. These antiques look quite valuable. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. This metal globe is very impressive. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. The late Mr. Roberts collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh, all the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. I do hope that bone has no connection to Watson's medical practice. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth.
Aha, there's another person in the photograph. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Here it is. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albiot. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Sir Charles, I believe that it's time to pass on the leadership of your club to someone else. I don't understand. You were charged with the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. You murdered him for money and to further your career. What? What? This is an outrage! I have powerful connections. You will regret this.
Sir Charles, I believe that it's time to pass on the leadership of your club to someone else. I don't understand. Oh yes, you do. As do I. You were under too great a pressure, your career and your family. You couldn't take any more. The judges will take that into account. This has to be a joke. I've never killed anyone. It's a mistake. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. <laughs> 